In this video presentation, we will discuss about the rotaviral enteritis. This viral disease is one of the common cause of diarrhea in young animals and infants. Classification Rioviridae family, classified under the Baltimore Group 3. Some of the veterinary important viral diseases under this family are blue tongue and African horse sickness, under the genus Orbivirus. Rotaviral enteritis, under the genus Rotavirus. The diseases under the genus Orbivirus and Cultivirus are arthropod borne viral diseases. The diseases under the genus Rotavirus and Orthoreovirus are non arthropod borne viral diseases, transmitted through fecal oral root transmission. In this lecture, we will discuss in detail on rotaviral enteritis. The other names for this infection are neonatal diarrhea, calf skewers, and milk skewers. Neonatal diarrhea, or calf skewers is not a single disease, it is a clinical sign also associated with other causative agents, apart from rotavirus, such as coronavirus, bovine viral diarrhea, E. coli, salmonella, and some others, characterized by diarrhea. It can also be caused from non-infectious background. The causative agent of this infection is, rotavirus A, which belongs to genus rotavirus, of the family Rioviridae. This virus is transmitted by fecal, oral root transmission, unlike the other genus under the same family. This infection is characterized by neonatal diarrhea, that is, causing scooters, in young animals like calves. Wide range of host is susceptible for this infection, especially 1 to 8 week age neonates. Species like bovine, ovine, porcine, feline, equine, lapine, canine, simians, avian, and murine are susceptible for this viral infection. Neonates of 1 to 8 week age are highly susceptible. Generally, in the first week of age, the animals are protected, due to the presence of colostral antibodies in the gut. Due to subsequent reduction of colostral antibodies, the animals are prone for the rotaviral infection in subsequent days, with the rotaviral susceptible window period from first week to eighth week. There are 10 species, under the genus rotavirus, causing this infection affecting wide range of species. Named from rotavirus A, 2. Rotavirus J. Among this, Rotavirus A, the most common infection causing agent in calves, other animals, and humans. And they are distributed worldwide. Virus morphology. The word, rota, from Latin, means, wheel. The virus posses wheel shaped morphology. This virus posses triple spherical capsid, layered one over the other. Outer capsid, intermediate, and inner capsid. So these triple capsid, makes the virus, resistant to the acidic pH of the stomach, and to the digestive enzymes in the gut. These triple capsid, in cases segmented genome. This segmentations are prone for the genetic reassortment. The entire virus is about 80 nanometer diameter. VP8, VP5 and VP7 codes for the outer capsid. VP6 codes for the intermediate capsid. And VP2 codes for the inner capsid. Picture shown here is the electron microscopy image of the rotavirus, which appears a wheel-shaped morphology. Genomic organization. The genome is multipartite, that is segmented, and double-stranded RNA. This segmented genome may result in genetic reassortment. The orbivirus possess, 10 segments. Rotavirus possess, 11 segments. Cultivirus, 12 segments. And orthoreovirus, 10 segments. So, our interest here is on, rotavirus which possess, 11 segments. Each segment codes for one or two proteins. The 5' prime end is methylated, that is capped. And the 3' prime end has, no poly A tail. In rotavirus, this VP4 outer capsid protein are generally exist as an inactive precursor. But once this inactive protein is reacted to the proteolytic enzymes, like chymotrypsin which is present in the small intestine, the inactive VP4 outer capsid protein precursor, get cleaved or fragmented into VP8, and VP5, active subunits. In this process, the infectivity of the virus gets increased. Virus replication. This virus enters the host by endocytosis. Following entry, the virus replicates in the cytoplasm. Here, each genome segment is, double-stranded RNA. Only, the negative sense RNA are transcribed and synthesis the positive sense RNA. This positive sense RNA which are similar to mRNA, are translated for viral proteins. These positive sense RNA are synthesized, in excess. So, on the other side, these excess positive sense RNA, act as template for negative sense strand synthesis. Later, these synthesize double-stranded viral RNA. 
and the translated viral proteins. Self assembles to form virion. Following assembly, virion released from the host cell by cell lysis. In the process of cell lysis, the intestinal villi in the small intestine is highly damaged. Transmission. The fecal excretions from the infected animal act as the principal source of this virus. This virus enters the host through ingestion, that is through oral route of viral entry. The incubation period is usually two to four days from the entry of virus. Pathogenesis. Following entry of virus through the oral route by ingestion. The triple capsid over the virus, makes the virus, resistant to the acidic pH of the stomach, and to the digestive enzymes in the gut. The rotavirus does its replication in the gut. It infects the enterocytes, which is in the villi of the small intestine. Leading to structural, and functional changes of the epithelium. Normally, the healthy enterocytes in the villi of small intestine helps in food absorption, and secretes lactase, which in turn helps in the digestion of milk in the small intestine. Due to damaged enterocytes, there will be malabsorption of food, and no lactase secretions, that will lead to milk intolerance, due to lactase deficiency, that is, undigested milk in small intestine. Normally, the villi of the small intestine, secretes lactase, which helps in the digestion of milk in the small intestine. But due to rotaviral infection of the villi, there will be shortening infusion of villi. This structural, and functional changes in the villi, lacks the lactase secretions. That will leads to milk intolerance, due to lactase deficiency, that is, undigested milk in small intestine. The pictures shown here is the, electron microscopy image of villi of the small intestine, before and after infection. Before infection, the villi appears normal. After infection, the villi appears shortened and fused. The pictures shown here is the, electron microscopy image of a rotavirus infected enterocytes at left, and compare to, an uninfected cells at right. Clinical Manifestation this infection causes gastroenteritis, which in turn causes vomition, and severe watery diarrhea in the animal. So this may lead to dehydration. Death may occur due to severe dehydration, and secondary bacterial infection. But mostly animal will recovers within 3 to 4 days. Diagnosis can be done in field level or in the laboratories. Field Diagnosis Based on signs and clinical symptoms observed like, watery diarrhea, and vomition and by post-mortem findings like gastroenteritis. Next, laboratory diagnosis. For a lab diagnosis, fecal sample and fecal swab are collected from live animal. In dead animal, intestine and intestinal contents are collected. These are some of the laboratory tests can be done for diagnosis of this virus. For virus detection, YALISA, reverse transcriptus PCR, and DNA sequencing is done. Prevention and control. These are the measures followed for the prevention and control of this infection. Like, vaccination, using inactivated vaccines, in pregnant animals, at 8 weeks and 2 weeks before the end of gestation. The objective is, to maintain immunity, in the colostrums, by vaccinating the dam. So, at the time of animal giving birth, the colostrum will contain milk antibody, against rotavirus. So, on allowing, the calf to suckle this milk, the antibodies in the milk, protects the intestinal lumen. So these will confers protection, to intestine of the newborn, by the milk antibodies in the colostrums. So here, local immunity in small intestine is more important, than systemic immunity, in rotaviral infection prevention. This type of passive lactogenic immunity, remains the most promising, and effective way, to protect the neonatal suckling young animals from enteric diseases. As we already discussed, in the first week, the animals are protected, due to the presence of colostral antibodies, in the gut. Due to subsequent reduction, of the colostral antibodies, the animals are prone for, the rotavirus, in subsequent days, with the virus susceptible window period, from first week to eighth week. This virus susceptible window period, can be shortened, by extending the colostrum suckling period, of calf, for two weeks. Last, hygienic management and practices to be followed in the rearing of animal. With this we are coming to the end of rotaviral enteritis. In next video presentation we will discuss in detail on prion diseases. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.